So, Ryan, here at Locals with the pay <laughs> post Age of Overlord set, you've picked up a new deck strategy that you've technically been playing for a while, but have incorporated some of the new cards. You got top here at Locals. What'd you play and how's your experience? I'm playing the PK with the new Horus stuff, my PK Adventure Horus. It's been great. Been enjoying going back to my roots. I've been seeing you do some crazy boards with this deck. I'm excited to see what you actually have in here. Do you have any shout outs you want to give before the video? Shout out to Jax and the, the local. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the list and see what you played. Okay, so we, for the PK lineup, we played three scales, three boots, two cloak, one ragged. I want to put in the stain greaves. I haven't been missing them a lot. And then we played the adventure with the three enchantress, the one rider, and we're playing the illegal knight. How's this card been for you? Uh, it's been real fun because it really trips people up whenever they're trying to set up their board and then you just drop this on their turn and then they have to play around it. That card's kind of insane whenever yeah. it was all bounced too, so. And then it's, I had a time where I Draco back bounced it going second and it was pretty fun. And then we're playing for the Horus, we're playing the one Happy, the one Blessing, and the three Glory. Now can you explain these cards for the people who may not know what they do? Um, so this one, so they all have the effect where they special amount of the grave if there's King king Sarcophagus. And this one searches kings and draws a card. Uh, the, this lets you discard four times a turn, and it gives them some light protection, and whenever they attack, you can send the monster you attack to the grave. Um, and they just have really good stats, or really good effects, whenever a card you control leaves the field. Um, this one sends a card. This one, uh, what was this one? Yeah, this is the one that draws up to the number of monsters you control with different names. And this one, you can target two cards in either grave, either add them to hand or and or banish them and i had people try to remove the king Sark with all three of them up on field and i would just go one two three and just put this back in hand with another card i wanted wow that is crazy yes yeah, so i draw like four some, some insane plays with these cards and like they're all in hand summons right yeah yeah so they don't get stopped by wave king caesar or dweller or any of the other ones that say activate and to finish up the monsters, we just have three Ash. And for the spells? And for the spells, we got the three Droplet, and we got the three King Sarcophagus, the three Rite, and then we have the one Adventure, or the Fateful Adventure, the one Draco Back, Foolish, Called By, and Rhoda. Insane. Has this lineup for spells been for you? And what do you believe is going to be correct moving forward for the ratios with the uh, Sark card? Um, I really like how where the Sark is now, but it just I feel like I want another card to get me to King Sark easier. I haven't found it yet, but and I might not find it, but so hard drawing that card is okay. Yeah, hard drawing it's great. Okay, because either hard draw it or you search it off the blood of the glory. Insane. And for your traps? Yeah, for the traps, it's pretty simple. It's just the three fog blade and the one shade brigadine. Awesome. And what's the deck count? Uh, I yeah. I think it's 40. It's somewhere up there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And for your extra deck? Uh, for the extra, we have the the links. We got the one link spider, the one cherubini, the one IP, the little knight, dark, shade brigadine, or rusty bardish. What am I on? Uh, and the unicorn for links. For everybody who's probably asking, how's the little knight been for you today? Oh, it's been great. It's going first, you can use it as interruption, or you can use it going second as removal to answer your opponent's cards. How many times do you think and you summoned that card today? Fucking 75% of today. <laughs> yeah, that card's crazy. Yeah. Okay. And then it's also a dark, so like if you have the king's thing, any dark equals that plus a bardish if you need to make that play, which is really nice. True, true, insane. Okay, and for the rest of the extra deck? And then for the rest, we have two Breaksword, one Levier, the Evil Swarm Nightmare, the Zombie Vampire, the number 90, the Zeus, and the Sky Crisis. 
Insane. And again, how has this card been for you? I know you have a um, lot of new cards post Age of Overload. How has this one been for you? Um, this one's nice. Um, I like to, it's really nice whenever I break someone's board and then to round it off, I have another layer of removal. Insane. And yeah. I know, like I said, with the horse cards, how was the uh, Vampire and the Galaxy has been for you? Uh, I had one game with this where I milled four from my me and my opponent, and I specialed their Fenrir as another layer of interruption. And a lot of the times, it just specials a Dark or a Horus out of Grave. Like, I did this another game, and I milled one of my Horus cards, which let me put this plus uh, number 90 on board. Insane. Insane. Would you make any changes to the extra deck moving forward? Um... There's some cards where I'm not making them. I definitely want to put the second Little Knight. I think cutting the Unicorns to play. I didn't really... I used this maybe once, but I used it in place where I... In a, the same place I would make a Little Knight. Okay, awesome, for sure. And yeah. then what have you been playing for your side deck this format? The side deck I think needs to change a little bit, but it's kind of decent. Um, for the side deck, we have the 3 Bell, the 3 Droll, the 2 DD Crow, and then we have the three Cosmic Cyclone, the one Harpies, and three Evenly. Insane. Okay, so just like a lot of good staple yeah, cards for board removal and everything. Good going second and good hand traps. Awesome. I know that this deck has been having waves in the OCG with the new support and the Horus cards. Do you believe that this deck could potentially be a contender here in our format, especially with no Maxi and a lot of the other combo decks? I think it's a good contender. Uh, we'd have to see this, see what the format plays out to be. Uh, hopefully after Indy we'll have a better understanding of what the format will look like. But I think it's a it's got a good shot compared to the other decks. It's been real fun playing it. Awesome. Do you have any changes you're planning on making to the main deck? Um, I am definitely want to put on in Stain Greaves. There are a lot of times where I like... I wanted to add it to special after because I already used the silent boot effect to start my combo. Very but true. other than that, it's been fine. Awesome. Well, again, I know we look forward to seeing you playing this. I'm pretty sure we've got some feature matches coming up with you in this deck. Is there any final remarks you want to give? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We appreciate it, Ryan. Thank you.